All right, today we're gonna to go through the mod to your R9 units to make it work with the faster baud rate for Express LRS. This will take it from the 115K baud rate support up to the 400K baud rate support, which is recommended by the Express LRS guys for the faster frame rates that the firmware is gonna be pushing on it. Before we get into the details, if you go to the Express LRS Discord here, and then you can go to the wiki page, you will find this mod documented right here, the R9M Inverter Mod. Now it's really important to recognize that this mod is only recommended, or you really only need it, for the 2018 version of the R9 modules. So what do you mean by 2018, you might ask? Well, you need it on this module, but not on this module. Do you get that? <laughs> so yeah. You have to look really close. So if your module says ACCST right here, that's the 2018 version of the module. If you have a newer module that says Access right here, you don't need this mod. And it really comes down to, I should really say need and put it in quotes. This will reduce some end-to-end -end latency by about 1.5 milliseconds. So it's not that much latency reduction. It's not gonna have an impact on the frame rate consistency as far as the test that I've done in coordination with the Express guys. It's really just the end-to-end -end latency uh, that you'd really see that difference going from one baud rate to the other. Now, when Express LRS does come out with maybe full telemetry, I think it may also have an impact on if you run the Lua script with the Express LRS, the Betaflight Lua script, because I do know if I'm running the 115 uh, K baud rate on my QX7 with the loose script or with like Crossfire, it hangs up and takes a really long time. Where if I put it at the 400K baud rate, the Lua script's fine. Again, that's on Crossfire because it has full telemetry. I haven't run that on Express LRS because it only has limited telemetry, but they are working on full telemetry. So it might have an impact in the future. So with all that said, let's get into the modification itself. Again, I wouldn't say it's required to run ExpressRS to do this if you have the old modules, but uh, it can't hurt anything. And in the future, when you maybe have full telemetry support, it might help with the speed of a little script or something of that nature. Oh, and before I leave here, do note, uh, do read this down here. I have a QX7. I've already done this hardware mod uh, with doing the Crossfire uh, modification to that so I can actually support the full 400K baud rate. Uh, with my QX7, you can read some details if you have these other radios, um, you know, what's applicable for you. Again, if you have an access radio, so like I have a brand new QX7 access radio, I don't have or need to do that mod. And I also have this brand new R9 module too. So if you have a, a new access radio and a new R9 module, you don't need this mod. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is remove these two screws right here and here. And then after that, you should be able to pull this up and you can kind of pry it up a little bit. This is attached in the back here and you have to kind of just maybe twist it. You can see I was kind of twisting it here and then that should pull this apart. And then you can get access uh, to, the whole, to the whole thing here and you can pull this board out and then this is just a casing on the back. Now, looking at the board, what we want to do is take a resistor from this pin here, which is just behind this row of pins, to the capacitor on the back side here. So you can see this cap. So we're taking the resistor, and we're going to use a 500 ohm resistor. I think I have a 500, either 300 to up to 1000 ohm resistor. We're going to connect it from the capacitor here over to this lead, uh, which you can kind of see in here, to this lead right in here. You can see the lead right there. So we're going to take that and then go around the, the back side here and connect to that capacitor. And there's photos up on the Express LRS. I'll make a link to that. So you can see I have a whole resistor pack here. So I'll make a link down in the video description of this and this you can get this pack and there's a whole bunch of resistors. And you can see on here, so this goes from 10 ohms to 20 to 100. Uh, 150, 200, blah, 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 up to, a, you know, there's a 680. That's what I'm going to use here. It's actually a 510 as well. Um, 1K, 2K, 3,000, 300,000 ohm, 
all the way up to 600,000 ohm resistors. For this job, we're gonna use a 680, so I just peeled one of these 680s off, and this will be the resistor that we're gonna to use to solder that up. Again, link down in the video description and you can get this whole pack, and they're only a couple bucks, and then you have them all the time. Now, I couldn't really show it as I was doing the soldering, but uh, what I found is if you just take your tweezers like this and kind of hold the resistor on the board, then you can get in here with your soldering tip and kind of melt the joint. I put a little solder on this connection first and then a little bit of solder on the tip of the resistor that I had to trim off. And then you just kind of get in there, hold it tight, and then just kind of snug it in. It doesn't need to be, you know, you need to have a good joint, but it's not like it's gonna get bashed or anything. It's not like it's on a quad, so. Um, yeah, as long as it has a solid connection here, you should be in good shape. And then on the back side here, we're gonna bend this around then connect into this capacitor right here. Trim that off. Trim off more of that. Let's see if I can get some solder on there. See, I have a pretty big tip here. Somewhat easier to uh, just get some on the tip. And just kind of set it in there. So now I have a blob there. I'm going to cut off more of that, I think. Side on the end of that. Okay, kind of want a blob. And pinch it down. And I think we have contact. I want to get this a little bit more melted on there. Yeah. Plenty of solder there. I just need to make it a nice joint. There we go. I'm happy with that. Okay, so you can see here now I have this coming in, touching, and soldered into that capacitor focus. Okay, so after that, uh, of course, we're just going to take this and the best way is just to line up this XT30 with the XT30 right here. Get that kind of snug down there. It has like little stands it's on. And then you can just bring the back plate around. And then, of course, these holes right here are the holes that need to connect into the radio. So those are the holes that come out through here. So we just bring this up. So I'm seeing this resistor, that wire coming around the edge, uh, definitely does hit against the case there. So you definitely don't want to be too generous with how far that's coming out. You really do need to hug the edge there. So what I'm struggling with here is this bump out in the case right here, from here to here. That's actually hitting up against that where I have this resistor wire coming around. See how there's this notch? Well, that kind of uses up that notch. So what I'm gonna do is push this back into this corner. I have a little bit of excess. So you definitely do wanna be tight and not have a huge loop going out around. I'm gonna push this into this corner. That seems like it should fit then. Yeah, it should fit right in there then. So it's definitely tight. You definitely don't wanna have ton of excess there. Alright, got that, got that. There we go. We're together. So from here, obviously, just put these two screws back in and then we are off to the races.
And once you have that done, and if you have the mod done to your radio for the, you know, in this case, this is a QX7, so I need the internal radio mod done, the crossfire mod. Uh, once both of those are done, then you can just hold down your button here. We're going to go ahead and do a long press once, do a long press twice to get to page six. I'm going to roll back and just slide up. We want to have our ADC filter off, of course. And then right here, our max baud rate. We're going to go ahead and change that. And you can hear the Express LRS module in the back reboot. And now we're at the 400K or 400,000 baud rate.